Hi everyone, what's up? It's M, and welcome back to my channel. In my last walkthrough video on Colonode, I covered a bunch of new updates the Node app had to offer. We explored the addition of 25 unique brushes, the introduction of flashcards with audio support, and the ability to customize the app's UI colors to better suit your style. I also talked about some other useful tools that enhance the overall note-taking experience. If you're interested, you may want to check that out and the links are down in the description box or up on the screen. Today, I'm excited to dive into the latest updates that come with Colonote 3.0. So this version brings some big changes, including new AI-powered features that might further enhance your note-taking experience. So let's get into these updates and see how they can make your note-taking experience even better. Colonode is a great app for creating, organizing, and customizing notes. It's free to download with a premium version available at these prices. You can use my discount code at checkout to get 50% off the premium plan and unlock all the Colonode's features at half the price. First, let's talk about the new library view of Colonode 3.0. The interface is different from before. All folders and notes are now in this kind of like a filer with the date created and the title written on it. And when you click on the arrow down, you'll see the following options. For the folders, you can rename, change cover, move, and delete folder. And for the notes, you can open in split view, lock the note, rename, duplicate, change cover, move, delete, and the newest feature is the add to favorites. You can view your favorites in the sidebar menu on the left side of your screen. If you want to include all your notes to the favorites section, just tap the star beside the All Notes tab. The menu bar is also new. It includes the flashcards, some planners, and a chat room. And below is a library which shows some free flashcards from different users. And for the planners, you can access some for free while others are available with a premium version. Now let's move on to the toolbar. The icons are still the same, but for some tools like the translate tool, the laser, and the shape tool and the curve, these tools are now pinned separately in the toolbar. The toolbar also is now scrollable. In the pen tool, Colornote now offers two additional pen tools the outline pen, and the shadow pen, along with the 25 brushes I showed you in the previous video. So these pens are great for adding a creative touch to your notes, making them look more colorful and fun. If you want a more realistic feel while writing, you can turn on the writing sound in the advanced settings, and it makes it sound like you're writing on a real paper. Every time you pick a pen style, the pen icon matches the pen you're using and the color you've chosen. So this helps you keep track of which pen you're currently using, especially since there are so many options to choose from. To make things easier, you can save your most used pen styles, colors, and thicknesses to your favorites. So these saved options show up as a small circle on the right side of the screen. So you can quickly switch between them without having to search through the list each time. If you want to remove a pen from your favorites, just hold and drag it down to the trash bin icon. This way you can always keep your most preferred pens handy and clear out the ones you don't use as much. At the end of the toolbar, you'll find a gear icon, which is a new option for customizing the toolbar. It lets you change the order of the tools by simply holding and dragging them into the order you prefer best. If there are tools you don't use, you can also hide them to keep things more organized. To change the paper style or template of any page, tap the pages icon in the top left corner, choose the page you want to edit, Tap the down arrow and select Change Paper or Template. You can pick from various paper styles and templates, but note that the paper color cannot be changed. Now let's look at the sidebar on the left side of the screen. It offers some extra tools to improve your note-taking experience. 
First, there are the undo and redo icons, which are pretty standard features for a note-taking app. You can also use gestures like double tap with two fingers to undo and double tap with three fingers to redo. Next up is the finger tool, which allows you to write or draw using your finger. There seem to be duplicate icons for these features, so I would recommend hiding the one on the top toolbar. Then we have the ruler tool. However, I'm not quite sure how useful it is since it doesn't zoom with the page, which makes the measurements less accurate. For instance, a 1cm line changes size depending on the zoom level. You should also turn off the finger tool to be able to rotate the ruler in the angle you prefer. The ruler also has measurements in centimeters and inches. The next feature is bookmark. To set up bookmark, start by tapping the bookmark icon which will open the bookmark setting. Here you can type in a name for your bookmark, select an icon and choose a color. Then down here you can select pages to bookmark. Once you've made your selections, tap create a bookmark to save it. All the pages you've bookmarked will appear in a list for quick access, making it easier to jump to specific sections of your notes. One downside though is the bookmark itself doesn't show directly on the page you've marked, and it's also not visible in the thumbnail view. So you really have to go back to the list to know which pages are bookmarked. There are also upcoming features that will be introduced soon. To maximize your workspace, you can minimize the sidebar by tapping the arrow. In Color Note 3.0, you can collaborate with others by inviting friends to take notes together using their nicknames or email addresses. Once you log into your Color Note account, you can change your name and avatar to personalize your experience. Additionally, you can chat with your collaborators in real time. This chat feature allows you to share thoughts, ask questions, and discuss ideas as you work on your notes together. The folder icon allows you to see all your files. When you open a file for the first time, it will display in split view. However, if you attempt to open the same file again, it will take you directly to the document instead of showing it in split view. At the top, you'll find a list of the files you've recently opened. You can minimize this by tapping the folder icon on the left side. You can also delete any files you don't need at the moment. Now let's head on to the AI-powered features in Color Note 3.0. First, let's look at the AI image and sticker feature, which is located in the sticker tool. The AI sticker and image feature allows you to quickly locate specific stickers, saving you time and effort. Just tap on Create Stickers and enter a name that describes what you're looking for. This can be a single word or a phrase that describes the sticker or image you need. After that, click on Generate Image. It will then generate the stickers and images that match your description. This feature is a great addition, but the stickers are very limited. It can only show you one image at a time. So if you want to replace the image, just click the Generate Image again and again. You cannot, however, drag the ones you've chosen, but you can click on them instead. And you have several options to choose from. You can resize it, copy, duplicate or delete it. You can also flip sticker, crop it, apply filters, draw on it, adjust to specific shapes, and choose different layers. If you lose your selection, simply double tap the sticker or image to bring back the options. Also note that only the selected stickers or the ones you've chosen will be auto-saved in the AI sticker section, which is great if you want to use them again later. You can also add stickers on your digital planners. If you don't have a planner yet, you can get one for free from the digital planner library. You can manage your added sticker collection from the files folder. You can delete selected stickers or the whole folder. You can also add your own sticker collection from your gallery.
Next AI-powered feature is the AI Calculator. So the AI Calculator in Colinote 3.0 includes two types of calculators, the handwriting and the scientific calculators. The handwriting calculator allows you to write math problems by hand and it can recognize your handwriting to provide quick answers. If you prefer the traditional way of calculating equations, you can use the scientific calculator. The AI calculator feature answers the math problems for you. However, you cannot copy and paste equations from your page to the calculator and vice versa. You still have to manually input them. And for the last AI feature is the AI Assistant. So when you tap on the robot icon, it opens up the Colonode AI Assistant. This assistant can help with various tasks similar to ChatGPT. You can copy text from your page and paste them to the box provided. However, it cannot recognize the handwriting yet, so you still have to convert the handwriting to text and that's a time you can copy and paste the text to the AI assistant. It can answer math problems and explain the computations for you. You can copy and paste the generated answers anywhere on your page. Another example is this simple question in science. AI Assistant also helps you search information outside of your notes or answer random questions you might have. It's a useful tool for getting quick facts or explanations while working on your notes. So overall, Colonote 3.0 brings some impressive updates that makes note-taking more efficient and creative. The new AI-powered features like the AI Assistant, AI Calculator, and AI Image and Stickers Provide helpful tools for organizing notes, solving math problems, and adding a personal touch to your pages. So the updated library view and the customizable toolbar enhance the overall user experience, making it easier to access and organize your notes. Plus, the collaboration feature allows users to work together and chat in real time, which is perfect for group projects or shared notes. So again, if you're interested in trying this out, you can use my code for a 50% discount. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.